You might find yourself uh, clicking and tapping on sale items at online sites as summer sales holidays are well underway. Uh, shoppers are taking advantage of discounts on electronics and other items, but someone else is taking advantage of the sales too, scammers. As 13 News consumer tech reporter Jamie Tucker explains, smart shopping can save you money in more ways than one. It wasn't that long ago where people didn't shop online because they were afraid they would be hacked. Well, times have changed. Now we think nothing of putting our credit card information on our phone and hitting buy now. But there are some risks. Scammers are hoping someone makes a mistake. Online crooks use a variety of tactics to trick you into handing over your credit card information. They'll use ads on social media imitating the websites of reputable companies. Don't trust any ads that offer insane prices at popular retailers. Their websites look identical. This is the real Vineyard Vines website. This is the fake one. Hard to tell the difference. Check the web address. If it ends in something other than .com, it's probably fake. Shopping on public Wi-Fi is risky. We're warned when we log on that those networks are unsecured. But a sale's a sale, right? Cyber criminals who know what they're doing can intercept usernames, passwords, even credit card numbers without you knowing it. When shopping in public, use your cellular provider's network instead of public Wi-Fi. And if you're using a laptop, turn on your phone's personal hotspot and connect to it. Use a VPN, a virtual private network, when you shop with a credit card online. Ignore the free apps. Those aren't always safe. And this one is super important. Do not use a debit card when shopping online. Debit cards are connected directly to your bank, and if the number is stolen, you may not get your money back. Use a credit card or PayPal that will protect your purchase. And this is important. Review your bank and credit card statements. That's what the tech, Jamie Tucker, 13.